about six years ago, NASA launched what could be considered one of their most successful missions. They launched two motorized vehicles, called rovers, to the surface of Mars. Scientists believed that the mission would only last a few months, but they were certainly in for a surprise. Well, we have two rovers on the surface of Mars. Um, they've been there almost six years, and each is a six-wheel drive uh, machine, uh, and they carry a payload of cameras and spectrometers. And basically their job is to look for evidence of uh, habitable environments on Mars, which basically means looking for evidence for water. The advantage of a rover on the surface of Mars is that they actually can rove. They can drive around on the surface, and we typically don't drive very far on, on any given day. Uh, they can go a few tens of me uh, meters or yards, um, but over the course of these missions, uh, both of them have gone uh, several miles now. The rovers test different types of rocks. The data is then sent back to Earth. At Arizona State University, Steve analyzes the samples and compares them to elements found here on our planet. One of the rovers, though, has stopped moving. Spirit has been stuck in the same position for a while now, and scientists are working hard to set her free. The rover has six wheels identical to this one. The problem is, the treads are stuck in soft sand. Steve's job is to try and find a way to maneuver the wheels to set the rover free. Steve traveled to the Jet Propulsion Lab in California where they were able to simulate the conditions that the rover was stuck in. We couldn't see it before we got there, so there's a uh, sort of a thin crust uh, on the surface that we broke through and landed in some very soft, loose sand. We basically shut down the rover and said, let's come back to the, the test facility at the Jet Propulsion Lab and simulate that environment uh, that the rover is stuck in and use a rover here on Earth and see if we can figure out the best way to get our Mars rover uh, unstuck. For now, the rover remains stuck. Not everything about the situation, though, has been unfortunate. Although Spirit has been stuck in a single location, she has been using her scientific instruments to help explore the material around her. Another advantage is that Spirit is stuck in a windy location. Strong dust devils have cleaned off her solar panels, giving her more power than ever. The scientists at the Jet Propulsion Lab remain hopeful that one day Spirit it will travel the surface of Mars once again. For more information on this story, visit our website at phoenix.gov/no99. Reporting for No99, I'm Courtney Olish.